You might be wondering why someone would take out such a hefty loan in the first place. You might also be wondering what it would be like to manage a loan of $600,000 and invest it wisely. Well, stick around because that's exactly what I'll be discussing today. In the world of investing, leveraging borrowed funds can potentially amplify returns if managed strategically. Now, I'm going to break down how I invested my $600,000 loan. My first step was meticulous research and planning. I identified several promising investment opportunities across different asset classes. I spoke to investors and people who have been doing this their whole life. I hired a private investor. Well, I did not really hire one. My brother is a private investor, so he gave me a hand and monitored the process. I'm going to give you a totally honest breakdown of my investment portfolio. If you are planning to take out a loan to start a business, you might need to watch this beforehand. All right, let's dive in right in. Number one, first up, let's talk about my real estate investment. 40% of my loan, that's $240,000, was earmarked for real estate investments. I opted for a diversified approach splitting this amount between residential and commercial properties. Trust me, I enjoy renting commercial spaces like offices, shops, gas stations, warehouses, etc. I found out that I could charge more thereby amplifying my profit when equated with my debt. With $240,000, I could only get two commercial spaces and one apartment. If I remember correctly, I bought the two commercial properties for $125,000 and $115,000 for a very cozy one bedroom apartment. I could only afford one bedroom for that price, sadly. After calculations with my brother, we decided to cap the warehouse I got for $4,000 per month, retail store property at $3,000 per month, and my little apartment was at $1,200 monthly. After my first year, I made approximately $94,000. After minusing little repairs and miscellaneous expenses, I've owned these properties for four years now. All right, let's move on. With 10% of my loan, I set aside an emergency fund. For those who don't know what that means, it is a percentage of funds kept for mishaps, unprecedented loss, and just anything that may happen. In my case, I set aside $60,000. I returned $30,000 to the bank as a head start to pay back my loan. You all are seeing it as just returning $30,000. I saw it as buying some time just in case I needed a job if things go south. I wouldn't be needing it anyways. Why not return it? Number three, moving on. Gentle reminder I have for you all, is to do what you love. In my case, I love coffee, I love it black, so why not have a coffee, tea, and pastry shop? Well, that's exactly what I did with 45% of my loan. I opened a coffee shop costing me $270,000 in total. From espresso, cappuccino, latte, macchiato, americano, mocha, Turkish coffee, just to name a few. I had it all. My first year as a coffee shop owner got me about $82,000. After paying salaries and making minor expenses, lastly, with 5% of my debt, which is $30,000, I put $20,000 into my savings just to keep it there. With $10,000, I went for a vacation to Kenya. I got to see one of their wildest safari. I was under a lot of duress. It was my way of relieving myself. Investing a loan of this magnitude taught me invaluable lessons about discipline, patience, and the importance of diversification. It's not a strategy for the faint-hearted. Imagine being in a $600,000 debt. I know how hard I hustled to repay my little $45,000 student loan. However, with careful planning and execution, taking out a loan can yield significant rewards. My personal advice is to consider investing in brick and mortar ventures. Avoid borrowing from the bank and putting it into crypto or Forex. It's better to be in steady control of your finances. Mind you, Forex is a great way to make money. Do not just put money you borrowed into that stuff. I speak from experience. Oh, one more thing. It is also important to file for a tax record and be a regular taxpayer. You don't want problems with the IRS or FBI or some shit. In conclusion, there is no certain way to invest. This is my personal investment portfolio. If you enjoyed the video, please support me by subscribing to our channel. Until next time, stay informed and make wise investment decisions.